guys welcome to another episode today we are trying for spring crappie at the secret spillway i've never came here and purposely fished for crappie if you remember from my past videos i caught four in one day either in late may or early june that were all 12 to 13 inches and i've caught several other ones here and there on accident so we're coming here just to purposely target these crappie and see if we can get on them and hope they're all 12 to 13 inches. So stay tuned, let's see what happens. And we do have minnows. Oh yeah! First throw guys. Very first throw, largemouth bass. I think this action will really pick up once we start using minnows. And we also have worms in case the panfish would be biting this early. You probably got to really work for them. But we do have that also. So we're very prepared. The buzzards are already circling overhead. I guess they plan on us dying. Oh, he hit it again. There he is. Got it. Oh, man. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Guys, we're already off to a good start. Nice bass. Got him on a three inch white Mr. Twister tail with a white head, about a pound. It's a good sign, isn't it? Two fish in a minute. Not bad guys, not a bad start. Two fish in the first minute. Alright. Oh my god, I got a big one. Really big. My God, it said poor too on the almanac. It's a lot better. He's about four, 13 or 14. I want you to show me this time. Guys, I just caught three fish out of four cast. And the one cast I didn't catch one, he got off. So I'm 100% on hooking a fish anyway. 100% of my cast, just on a simple three inch curly tail. shabby it's a star I might get one that if I can get that big one I lost last time oh yeah oh my this one's three pounds that's the one I missed last time maybe Ah, he's two pounds. It's not bad, is it? He might not even be right at two. He's about a pound and three quarter, though. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> what do I got going on here? My goodness. Now that's decent right there. Just think of the ones we're gonna catch using a minnow though. Because after we spook them with a lure, we'll be able to get the ones that ain't biting. He's not bad. He's pounding pound and a half, pound and three quarter. Laying them, man. I just caught how many? Four? <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, my grub is tearing up now. I'm glad I brought these. That's one of the things I put in the Ziploc bag. There he is. Got it. Whatever it is. Nope, bass. Seen it. Oh. Oh. It's letting me reel it in awful easy. No, I got a bluegill or something. See? See what I mean? We can catch them. God, that's a green... That's a green sunfish or a hybrid? It's a hybrid bluegill. Oh, Wilma. I need you to... As soon as you get that down. There goes another jig head, huh? What a grub. That is awesome. Guy's nice hybrid bluegill. Now you may have to make him look big on that. Nice hybrid bluegill, guys. He's kind of dull right now because of the dingy water. Didn't really expect to get these this early, but like I said, you never know. So we're going to try for them later. This is one of my favorite spots for sure. Is it showing up perfect? Yeah. It's a nice hybrid. <laughs> I just threw it out there and let it fall really far. Of all the places you can get hung, it's not even in the water. Oh my God. Mm. No, he's not that big, but it's nice. He's pretty nice. Oh man. Another 14 inch or anyway. Mm. My God, guys, I haven't had a curly tail work this good in a long time. Just a regular old curly tail. Cheap way to catch fish, guys. How them jig heads got that messed up? Make sure you put those back when you're done. Not a bad bass. Oh, man. Hold on. Spot. I'm gonna need the pliers. Nope. That guy shows the, just a simple three inch white curly tail. Really catch some fish, man. Go ahead. It's a pre spawn female bass, too. Oh. I wanna put my. heads away. It looks like crap. They're all messed up. <laughs> nah, it wouldn't have jumped. Yeah, it is. Alright guys, Wilma got our first crappie. and I told you they're nice in here. They're all nice in here. Guys, this black crappie jumped like a largemouth would. Oh, I like coolers, really. Down a little Clear. bit. Hold it normal, like close to your body or something. No, I mean, I told you we'd get one. Point. We're end up having a good day now. A little bit down, like three inches. There you go. Heck yeah. Good job, honey, on a white grub, guys. Man. Way better than the last time we was here, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh. Hey! Whoa! Oh my God! Well, my God! Oh my God! 
on, guys. I just caught a big bass. That's a nice one. On a bobber and minnow, guys. What a nice bass. Barely hooked. I just pulled him right out. My gosh, look at that. It's a full three pounds anyway. Blood red eyes. Nice bass. Now that's what I came for. Besides crappie. Pounds. All right, guys. Look at that hawk. What a bass. to doubt minnows because I haven't been doing great on them but I'm telling you guys if you're patient enough they will work sometimes it just takes longer but you may end up getting better quality fish if you're just patient enough to wait Sunfish guy. Honey. On the curly tail. Not a bad little greeny. Pretty cute. Alright. Not bad at all. That's a pure greeny. He's starting to turn black. He's got them black specks. Guys, guys, I have been absolutely very, very patient with a bobber and minnow. Only to catch nothing but that one green sunfish and one bass. I finally just caught a 14 inch jet black male crappie. Oh my gosh. This thing is thick, 14 inches. Oh my goodness, right in the hard part of the mouth too, guys. It took forever for me to get this fish. Now that made it worth it right here. That three pound bass and this alone made my day worth, made it worth coming here. This was the only spot we could come and get out of the wind. It's 20 mile an hour winds today, but there is absolutely none here. So we got this gigantic hill behind us blocking us. Now that is a nice crappie. Wow. Honey, look. 
Honey. Jet black male. That's what it's all about right there, guys. What a crappie. Jet black male. Okay, he ain't 14, but he is 13. That is a nice crappie. Just look at them dark charcoal cheek. Got his tuxedo on. Freaking awesome. Now that's the fish I came here for. I finally got it after hours of patience. It took me hours to get this fish that I've been after. I had a stringer or a bucket to put him in, but I don't. Not without mixing them in the minnows. Man, look at that. The size of the ones in Baker's. guys well that ends our day all in all didn't do too great it started out really hot and first five casts was the best and then i got the three pound largemouth, green sunfish and a hybrid and the big 13 inch crappie we were after crappie and really didn't get many only got three both between the both of us i got two and she got one Bass fishing seemed better. I don't know what was wrong. Just seemed slow no matter what you did. Here and there, only average to fish every half hour though. But it was a nice day. We avoided the wind and that's all that mattered. Till next time, hit that like button.